Hey, hey, it's Pat again, playing some more Satisfactory. Well, actually, I'm still playing Satisfactory. That's right, I didn't stop, I was just having too much fun. If you were checking out our last episode, we had a very abrupt end, and uh, I wanted to pick it right back up. So I started doing a couple of little things, finished uh, the uh, gathering of some mycelium so we could unlock and get a gun. Went ahead, made a gun, some ammo, you know pretty cool it's actually not too great it's it's fine it's way better than having a rebar gun so uh yeah i'm definitely excited about that now i get to have some oh goodness gracious i hit my zoop tube if i don't control it i'll probably just fly it out of bounds i don't know if this is an area you're actually allowed to go to hey i don't know if i could get over there without a jetpack which, as you can see, is actually our next milestone. So, we're going to drop down and hopefully take care of that. Do I have enough motors on me? I don't. I need some more motor rotors. Not rotors, just motors. And thank you everybody for joining. You know, I really appreciate all the support. And again, you know, we love if you like and subscribe to the videos. It definitely helps out. We're a growing channel, so every new addition to the community definitely helps us. So please feel free to hit that button down below. You know, ringling the dingling and all that stuff. Hit that bell so you get the free notifications. Now, where are we going to find our motors? Right in here, bunches of them. And my inventory is jam-packed full of just crap, just random stuff. All good stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. Jump off the side of the building here. And let's go ahead and see if we can finish this right up. Throw in our fuel, our rubber, our motors. I did not get enough motors. Well, that's... big sigh and that's why we put in all these tubes you know gotta be able to get around the base quickly because I'm kind of an idiot falling is still really quick you know again verticality you gotta incorporate it into your build and that's one of the reasons why we want to get ourselves a jetpack is more verticality. We need to be able to really cruise around. Inflated your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates on oil-based fuel for increased okay. navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Yeah, as well as odds of survival. You're, yeah, you're not joking though. Oh snap! I can just make one. I got all the shit on me. Well, that's just lucky. That's why I carry around all sorts of stuff because. You know, situations like this. Now I just have a jetpack now? Yeah. Dope. And since I was carrying around all that fuel, zing a ling a ling. Yeah, I was smashing my head on the ceiling. I love it. Now let's go ahead and get that parachute out of our inventory. And honestly, that Xeno Basher, we're never using that thing again. Cool. And I've already got 24 computers built. Yeah, I did not set up an assembler or any of that stuff. I was just doing them by hand because I had a bunch of shit in my inventory, so I was doing it that way. And, honestly, I could probably do some more, too. 155 circuit boards. It's almost more worth it to just have um, another copper manufacturer over by our oil plant and just have it, you know, smashing these together and just making circuit boards. Which, honestly... I should do. What do I have for materials on me? And assemblers? Yeah, cool. So, we're going to actually go ahead and make a blueprint. I think this is a great time to, you know, take care of that. Yeet myself out this way. Oh, perfect. At the last second, I was able to just boop, and it took off all the momentum absolutely phenomenal so again one of the things I like doing for um, my builds is I usually start out with a foundation I think it just ends up working better that way now so I want to be able to have 
a Mark II miner, which is going to be about 120 a minute. So we're going to need, let's, let's do a decent little foundation here. We'll make sure I got the Zoop, Zoop squad. One of the nice things about the blueprint is it will keep you inside. You know, it's going to give you a warning saying, hey, you're not inside the blueprint. What you doing, bucko? So, we need to get some smelters in here. Can't afford because I don't have enough freaking wire. Why are you being such a problem to me? Gosh, see what I did there? I need a quicker way to get in from the back of the building. I think I'm going to have to build a hyper tube just right up and down the wall. Pop me in right there. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Yep. Still need wire. That part has not changed. And I do need, I think, in case industrial beams for entrances, don't I? Yeah. It's almost like I know how to play this game. Yeah, bunches of stuff. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And let's just like that. And then we hook it up with one of these going up something like that. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. And just get some power to it. Do it to it. Get some power to it. Yeah, do it. Can't afford because I need quick wire. Screw you, dude. Boom. That's how you do. Nice. Just sucks me right off of the ground. I like it. Yeah, that's actually going to be pretty helpful for building. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, cool. So, back to what we were doing. We got a 4x4 four four foundation here. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some smelters. Let's go ahead and start from the front to the back. Show it where it's at. I think we can do 4 wide. And, ooh. In ingots, yes. Oh, there we go. Copper ingots, one. You could take in 30 a minute. So... 30 a minute if we had something that was making 120 divided by 30 we would need four so if we get all four of these set up for copper ingots we should be able to get 120 out awesome so we're also going to need a pole quick wire i just got to get quick wire i got some right in here Boop. bought me out Quick wire should be, I think, right on the other side of this. Nope. It's on the other, other side. Or here. Or there. There. I don't have any space for it. Ah, oh, my life. I'm just throwing away the package fuel. And honestly, I don't care. I got so much of it. It's ridiculous. Ooh, what? Yes. Should just make a hole in the wall. Whatever. Oh, wow. Perfect landing. Go me. You. To you. To you. Oh, nope. Not you. You. There you go. And there you go. Okay, very good, very good. And we want this coming out. Like that, yes. Coming in over uh, right about there. Okay. Logistics, yeah, baby. Who doesn't love logistics? I'm all about logistics. Who ain't, right? I know it. I know it. We all are. If you don't like logistics, oh, oh, yeah, right. Pop off some rounds. <laughs> Make sure this conveyor belt knows who's boss. <laughs> a 
very nice. We've got all our input. Oh, can I snap to this? I'm just like, sure, I can't snap to this. No, of course not. That would make things way too easy. I like that you can walk on it, though. Cool. So, we've got four smelters. I should see what they're producing, but either way. Coming out. We want you... I don't have enough steel beams. FML. Luckily, I've got a whole place to make steel beams right over here. Ah, oh, man. That's that's what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, take all. Yes. Let's see if I can get lucky enough. I think with the jetpack, it just makes it that much easier. Oh, yeah. It's just total control. Total control. feel like a, a ballerina except I'm worse except I'm notably worse okay so you were coming out we were gonna have you come right over like mm, about that far that seems fine you can come over to about there and then we need a bunch of mergers very nice, very nice, and nicely done. Good old connectoroos. Okay, so we've got a bunch of smelting action going on. Now, we're going to need a bit of wall. Ooh, we got pretty ones. I don't want to use silica and all that stuff. We got to do something that's cheaper. So it's going to be easy enough. So let's go just the basic wall. Should be fine. Okay. And off of that. How high are these? Let's. Hmm. Stairs. So, input's going to be right here, output's going to be right there. Let's go ahead and have our stairs centered right over here. One less. Nope. One more. Should be good. Yeah, I like that. Looking good there. Have you come right over. Okay, so let's go ahead, double check some numbers, see what these should be producing. 30 copper ingots a piece each, 30 times 4, that's 120 copper ingots coming out. Okay, okay. See if we can get back up to our perch. secret is you got to keep moving forward on it. I think that's it right there. So, constructors. We need some constructors. That belt is going to be coming out just over this way. Let's go ahead and design that in right quick. We need to get ourselves a lifter. So, lifter is going to go right on the end of that. Did that snap correctly? I don't think that snapped correctly. There you go. And let's have you, yeah, come out this way. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, a little bit better like that. Can I have you come just right in here? Flip around just like that. Very nice. Okay. Construct. Constructors. Now, I want you to make copper sheets. Uh, yes I do. We're making 120, so that means I need six of these. Okay, I don't think I can fit six of these real pretty-like. Nope, nope, nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. Logistic action. We need some splitters, of course. This is easier if you're looking down on stuff. Uh, let's do this one first. Like that. Like that. Mm, come on now. There we go. Connect. A connect. A connect. A connect. We want to keep moving around just over this way. Have that guy snake from here over to about here. Connecting in here. A power rod tucked in. Not like that. And I think pretty much every everybody's okay with it glitching through the floor. That's just nature of the you know nature of the beast. <clears throat> now, realistically, I need a whole nother level just like this. Yes, I do. Yep. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And it's not gonna fit in here. So I'm just gonna have this be inefficient. I think that's just fine. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And have input like that. Good. Merger. Merger. Copper sheet to copper sheet to a copper sheet. And all that feeds right into here. So this will be just a inefficient but productive copper sheet manufacturer. All I have to do is pipe into this spot. do is pipe into that spot and connect to this pole yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy so now what you do once you have a blueprint kind of like finished you know done enough go over here tell uh put in a blueprint name so this will be copper foundry two sheets and down here i'm actually gonna ooh, Go ahead and just copy that in the efficient uh, sheeting. Select my icon. It is going to be a part. Copper sheets. Select the image. I'm going to change the background to ooh, kind of a coppery color. That's actually very nice. Yeah, like that. And now, cool part, ooh, I already have some in here. When you hit this, you can actually go and hit clear designer. Now this is pretty dope. What it does is clears everything inside of the designer and it puts all the parts right in here. So just gonna snap, 
take all, take everything I can. Some stuff's left over because, well, nature of the business. And that's pretty much how you do blueprints. So now I can actually go over to our oil uh, plant, our uh, oil manufacturing over there. And I can slap this bad boy down next to a Mark II miner and pipe that in. We can combine that with some of the overflow plastics that we have. And we can get some automatic circuit board manufacturing in. And it's definitely going to be very helpful because we're at the point now where we kind of need to start getting into computers and electronics at large. So I think that's definitely going to be one of our big points of interest. Let's see what our next, uh, we're already at tier six. Wow, we are cooking right along. This was our jetpack. We just could not stop, you know? Pipeline engineering. That's going to get us pipelines mark two. Oh, very nice. And pump mark two as well. Not too shabby. Monorail so we can get those choo-choo trains I've been dreaming about for so very long. Along with that, logistics mark four. It would be nice to go ahead and get that fuel generator. Yeah. Uh, our power grid is definitely getting to a point where I don't want to have to keep building all of those coal generators. And honestly, we've got so much fuel generation that this is going to be a good idea. It has a pipe input so it can just automatically produce. Oh, boy, yo. Oh. This is definitely going to be our... Uh, our big aim right here and conveyor belts mark four and lifters mark four yikes we are definitely well on the way all we got to do is make a bunch of computers that sounds easy i mean who hasn't just made a computer okay 100 percent uh, transparency i did build the computer but i didn't make it you know what i mean i went on i I did the Micro Center PC Builder thing, made all the parts, did all my research beforehand for hours at a time, figuring out what was going to be a good setup for me, get all the cool RGB gamer shit, which is funny enough because I don't do my like camera for this, but it does look pretty freaking cool. I'll have to show it off in some of the videos. Um, put all the parts together, made my cart, drove down to Boston, had all-you-can-eat Korean buffet with a, a buddy. Dude, honestly, Korean barbecue where you just sit there and they constantly bring you the meat and you just cook it yourself. Oh my goodness, that's that's the way to live. I need to, you know, be closer to that kind of action. Got all the stuff from Micro Center, came back up, built my computer, and oh goodness gracious, I've been so pleased since. But like I said in a previous video, I am looking at upgrading my graphics card. I think a 12 gig card would be a nice sweet spot like to bring uh, better content for you guys and honestly better gaming experience for me along with that I do have my eyes on a capture card I think a nice Elgato would be good you know see if I can get you guys uh, some quality 4k content oh yeah I still don't have a freaking gas mask god dang it always something to do you know one of the things I do like about the uh, jetpack is it's like rotational. So you can change your momentum while you're in the air, which with a parachute, way harder to do. You're just constantly moving forward. Which, you know, it's a great thing in life in general, you know, keep that forward momentum. But also something to be said about actually being able to control your aerial momentum. Yeah, 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 same, just same, just same. Okay, so we need to make computers. One of the things I thought was a nice little idea, not blocking any of these, which is actually super convenient. It's just like right on top. Put down two foundations and a crafting bench. So I now have access to like all of these materials and then just boom, right into here, which is pretty much why I have all this shit in my inventory. So, let's check out what it takes for a computer. Okay, I definitely need a bunch of freaking circuit boards. And then screws, screws and circuit boards. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Add to the to-do list. 
edit the to-do list. How many of these do I need? I don't know. Let's say a fucking hundred. Yeah, that sounds good, though, don't it? Cool. So, I need all sorts of stuff. Now. Uh, what do I actually need? 76. Jeez. That's still not a small amount of things. So I definitely... 760 circuit boards. Good god dang. I mean, 4,000 screws is not actually that much. That's 8 stacks. Which I definitely just have right in that box. But I don't have any circuit boards, so... I'm gonna go ahead and handcraft a bunch of freaking circuit boards for a hot minute. Right? 155 circuit boards. I can just crank all this out. Then we can get computers. Logistics. I mean... Throw it up in the air. Yeah, do this by hand real quick. And I'm just going to do a fast cut. So, I'll see you guys in a minute when I have a lot more circuit boards. Rocking. So, I made a whole bunch of circuit boards. Now, honestly, I can't make any computers, which did come up for just a moment. But, now what am I out of? Plastic. Of course I'm out of plastic. That's this whole thing. What I really should do, build a whole nother level for this on top of everything I've got here, and then make that my computer manufacturing. Yeah, I could do that, or I could do it somewhere else totally. Do I want to continue making this a big ridiculous skyscraper? It is kind of nice having everything here. I do love how central this all is. super convenient I mean crazy convenient I do have all this space over here oh maybe that's what I'll do is I'll build an addition to it yeah just have another level just like build giant um, beams do I have beams I'm pretty sure I have beams I don't have beams that's what foundations Okay. That's wild. How do I not have like a big beam package? Okay. I think that's kind of what I want to do though. How would that look from out here? I think that would be pretty sweet coming out and then just have a, a little spot. Uh almost oh my legs and that is why we have an inhaler full health aha yeah I think that that would work pretty nicely have a glass uh, chamber coming out have a nice walkway make it look like legit yeah I am so down for that I would really like that and that's where I'll do uh, all the assembly stuff is just on the other side. I still want like a cool office area on top of this. That's going to be happening. I got to figure that out. But that's 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 probably going to be like the last thing I do in this whole freaking series. <laughs> oh my god, is this full? Oh no. No, it's definitely not full. Why is this not producing things? It needs more rotors. What the fuck are these then? Uh, okay, it says there's no rotors. Oh, weird. Oh, man. That was very odd. Here, have, have more rotors. You hungry boy, you. Take all of the rotors except for those two. I need two stacks. Let's just be honest. I'm a bit of a pack rat. I'm a pat pack rat. I like being able to just jetpack up everything. Oh my god, we're at such a good point in the game right now. Okay, so I really do need to build an assembler. I also need to just get circuit boards just producing by themselves. How full is my inventory? Not ridiculously full. Kind of surprising. I need encased industrial beams and a bunch of portable miners. So, 
Encased industrial beams. Let's go ahead, grab some of these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I'm good. As I just take a bunch of damage for no good reason. Okay, okay. Let's grab out. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's just go for four of those. Okay, okay. And as far as miners, let's do four. One. A two. A three. A three. <laughs> a four. Okay, cool. So we have enough to just find a copper node, slam a miner on top, put that factory right next to it. I got enough for that, right? Yep. Cool. But I want to do that way over by the oil place. The oil place. Yeah. Okay. We're taking a trip. And once I get over there, I'm going to jet over. Not actually jet pack over. Uh, I'll head over to the oil manufactory. Use the compass, the scanner here, to go ahead and find ourselves a copper vein over there. Yeah. Yeah. Then let's go ahead and scan out, you know, figure out what we're going to be uh, making as our area. We need to kind of set up another place over there. Yeah. Now, I guess that's going to be a question. Do I take the copper sheets to here or do I take the plastic from here? And then what? I'd have to bring it all back. Yeah, that's that's not really what I want. So I guess, realistically, I want to find... Oh, is that a crash? Yeah. Okay, I've gotten distracted. We're going exploring. We've got a rifle and a jetpack, so I feel as though we can do some pretty decent stuff now. Even though we're in, you know, a tougher area. Thank you. You're an alpha, aren't you? Let's F around. Oh, man. Well, that was way easier than I had anticipated. I don't think they thought that's how this was going to go. Yeah, you and your dumb bugs. I hate these freaking bugs. So those, like, beehive-looking things, they kind of spit out buggies. And the bugs will fly after you and blow up. It's not super cool. Huh. It's two alphas. And, and one of the hog things. Oh, cool. Let's play it safe. Oh, you're an alpha hog. Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. Oh, concentrated fire. Wow. This is... They are not fucking around. Oh, my God. It's like an entire... I've gone to the land of the lost. Oh, my God. I'm glad I'm recording. This is ridiculous. I am not dying here. Oh, holy shit. Man, that guy's body just went like flying. Redonkulous. Just like a true hunter, I take out the weakest first. Which is probably what they're doing to me. I don't know why he keeps holding down that R. That's 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 less than awesome. Oh, you're gonna try and hide behind that node, huh? You think that's gonna save you? I hope it doesn't.
Yeah, group up. That's 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 what I thought. Chase me, chase me. I don't think it's that I'm missing all that much. These things are just pretty badass. They're supposed to be some of the harder creatures in the game, for sure. There's a reason they're called alphas. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I almost got wrecked in the ass like my first night at prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is the last guy. And he's down. Hot shit. That was pretty insane. Uh, th thanks, everybody, for sticking with me there. Wow. Yeah. And that is one of the reasons why we carry so much freaking ammo. Whoa. Okay. 21 computers? Holy shit. Okay. I guess was, this was definitely worth all the fuss. Wow. I kicked some ass, though, huh? I'm patting myself on the back over here. Don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, yeah. What is that, Mercer Sphere? Woo -woo -woo. F you, F you. Yeah, it just hit me. I don't, I don't even care. Relaying message. Hello, this is. Oh. I'm just gonna sit there and take that though. What can I just throw in the trash? You. For no good reason, I wanna take this Mercer Sphere. I mean, I came all the way out here. I'm doing it. It's just. Duh. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna have space for a hard drive. Yeah, I'll leave it. Uh, more heavy modular frames. Oh my god. Uh, okay, two copper sheets. You can get thrown out. A bunch of steel pipes. You're garbage to me too. My god. I mean, this this was just absolutely nuts. I don't think I've ever had a fight like that in, in this game. Ooh, yellow sluggy. Operational. Oh, my God. Just a free hard drive. I know exactly what to do. Equip these. Eat all of them. Take that back out. Get my hard drive. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wow, so many spitter and hogger proteins. And I'm probably missing some. They're probably just laying around here under a bunch of these freaking leaves and stuff. Which I'm just not going to spend a bunch of time looking around for. Because honestly, it's going to be trouble. I don't give a shit. Not enough room for this. Oh my gosh. Throw away iron plates. They're, they're way less important than a yellow power slug. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We are kicking butt. Taking names, kicking butt. Heck yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that's what we come over here for, so. Limestone, get the fuck out of here. What do I need limestone for? Not at this point. Not your little piddly amount of limestone. I would like to explore some over here. I mean, cool little archipelago. Nice island system. I am not going to explore over here anymore. <laughs> Some raw quartz right there. But in all honesty, I'm just going to get to the, like, I'm just going to go make a raw quartz, uh, like, mine. That's the next step over there. Oil splotch right here. Everything's looking pretty, ooh. Saw a spit over there, which honestly, I just don't feel like fucking around with right now. I do want to keep taking a... Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, well. Might as well. Oh, look at you being a little bitch. 
wow. I'm surprised how ridiculously easy that went down with how hard everything else has been lately. Hey, life's got to give you a break sometime. Just takes a while. Sometimes way too long. But as Frank Sinatra once said, that's life. Sometimes you're riding high in April. You know, you're shot down in May. But uh, come June, I'll be riding high again. And we got a bunch of plastic in here. That's nice. How can I free up my inventory? Okay. I got a crafting bench around here somewhere. I guess it just attached to the back of this. Power shards. Let's go ahead and do some of those. Okay. Cool. Now I have one open spot. How freaking wonderful. Use our scanner. Set that to copper ore. Oh, please, don't have one too terribly far from here. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. How far? A kilometer? Oh, man. 1,300 that way. There is, there is nothing particularly close. Am I going to make this stuff a kilometer long? conveyor belt system I don't really want to do that I don't think that's like a great idea and honestly I can just hyper tube back and forth for the amount of circuit boards I can just run over there get a bunch of copper sheets slam it down and just have a place in here you know maybe just outside I'll have a section coming out this way and it's just going to be for circuit boards yeah, I think that that's fine. I'm fine with that. Super fine with that, in fact. So fine with it. So fine, in fact. That that is what's happening right now. So, ooh, manufacturer. Yeah. Okay. We're definitely going to be using that not too long from now. Would be kind of... Yeah, no. No, we're, yeah, that's not what's happening here. So, assembler. You, like that. Five piece. Boom. With another one. And another one. God, I hate that DJ Khaled guy, though. The guy's an idiot. I'll have to have opinions. Circuit board. Yeah, buddy. Okay, cool. And we want a power pole. Of course we do. I was just thinking like, hmm, do I make a big brick of them? I don't think that that's the right amount of production. Like, that doesn't fall in line with what's actually going to be produced here. Why did it give me a green line? That's just not what's happening, bro. Okay, so I gotta get plastic and copper sheets so I can just have this stuff doing its own thing. So, put you in there, cause we'll come back. I'll see you later. So, I need copper sheets and plastic. Copper sheets and plastic. I'm gonna just store all my stuff in here. Oh my God, I can't even. I have a bigger inventory than these do. That's that's phenomenal to see. I'm at that point in the game. I'm just that badass. So, a bunch of the plastic. I'll take all you. <laughs> take all of you. I'll leave you with one stack. I'm not that heartless, you know. Store all. Yeah, baby. And now I'm going to go grab as many of the copper sheets as my inventory can handle. And I will come back here and we will get that circuit board manufacturing, manufacturing. And we are back. Yes, that's right. Not only is this full of plastic, but now this is full of copper sheets. So if everything goes according to my plan, 
Yes, indeedly do. This is now making 7.5 circuit boards per minute. Hot dang, that's nice. Yes, 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 yes. I like it. This is looking good. We got the thing doing the thing. Taking 15 per minute. It's just going to stack this full up. Go ahead, take those back. Take all the stuff back out of my storage. And we've been making a solid progress. Some good building. Some great exploring. Now, I got to clean out some of this, this trash. There's just way too much junk in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn all those proteins into one type of material. That'll condense a spot. In all honesty, I should just throw away that fucking Mercer Sphere. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm keeping them. I don't. I don't really have a good reason to. Like, honestly, there's, there's like no reason for it. I just build a bunch of stuff. I can't. I, there's just so much stuff I can build. Craziness. Craziness. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, got circuit boards on the run. Next thing... It's going to be start building out the uh, expansion so we can have a good looking assembly. Assembler? Yeah, the four one. Because I am not building all these computers by hand. That's just not what's happening. I'm going to build a big flat area, have four industrial storage containers all linked into it, and I will just run around grabbing parts, putting them all together. Hmm. I think that might well be one of the best ways to do it. There will be a couple of items we can certainly have um, automated, like screws, cable. We can have all that stuff just piped in. I'm down for that. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. I have it just off from the side here. Yeah. I'm excited. It's these ones. Yeah, right here. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> then I'm going to go ahead. Is 10 far enough out? I think this is. This looks great. Let's go 10 each way. Gorgeous. And then 10 off of these. Yeah. Missing concrete. And then I'm going to run out of plates too. Ah, my whole world's falling apart. As per usual. Just don't have enough stuff in my inventory. That's what that's telling me, you know. I can actually get rid of all those miners. The portable miners I have in my inventory, I'm not using those. I was thinking I was going to get the copper sheets to be able to just get mined over there. That's not what's happening right now. Throw all of you in there. Stupid Mercer Sphere. Get out of here. Have I not? I don't think I've researched this yet. I have not. Look at that. Now I can turn that stuff into a protein which is just more whatever 28 of these oh man I did use a number of these inhalers so let's go ahead that's why I collect all these nuts use those and those proteins to make these inhalers which will just heal you back to full health I'm at 23 I am turning all these into DNA capsules right here and now reason I do that is those alien DNA capsules you actually feed into the um, awesome sink and you get so many points for it which super helpful for us because we want to use those points to be able to buy more um, you know modifications things we can do for the base show you just what I mean pop back up here 
get to our container. Throw in these 24. My goodness. Boom. 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 Look at those coupons. Oh, my gosh. Just like that. Just like that. Now we're up to nine. Yeah. Pretty incredible. And here are those pillars we were talking about. Metal pillar is pretty cool. Concrete looks great too. I'm buying all of them. I got eight. That costs six. Oh, I have nine. Ah, oh, cool. So, still leaves me with three. Okay. Might as well just buy stairs. Boom diggity. Okay. I came in here so I could get concrete and some plates. Two stack of plates. Let's go three stack of concrete. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I love having a jetpack. This is game changing. Oh, so I did install a mod. It's called Permaday. Uh, it always makes it between 11 and 2 in the afternoon. Yeah, 11 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. So it's just always daytime. There's like no real reason to have nighttime. As far as like I'm concerned for like building and playing purposes. It still counts all the hours that you play the same way. It just is always daylight. I think it's just a better experience for everybody involved here. And then do I do another section all the way out here? Decisions, decisions. Well, let's start by seeing how big this is. The manufacturer. Yeah, this thing's pretty large. <laughs> I guess I do want to have it reasonably centered because I'm going to have uh, plastics and stuff coming out. Yeah, have that come out over here, piping this way, down the hallway. Yeah. So that said I needed plastics. Oh, god dang it. Of course I need plastic. I mean, realistically, I do. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. So I'm going to go get plastic, and then we'll come back, throw that down, do the that. Yeah, it's going to be our next big step. Step is kind of uh, getting computer, ma computer manufacturing all automated and set up there. So as much as we can. We've got a very lengthy episode here already, so I think we're going to cut it for today, and I'll come back and show you what we've been making off screen. Till then, take care. I've been Pat. You've been awesome. I hope this episode has been satisfactory. Take care, y'all.